If you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. These are the words from Admiral William McRaven. Oftentimes, we have big goals in life, and they can seem intimidating at first. But with the proper discipline and mindset, everything can be achievable. Today, I'll be sharing with you the five things I learned from reading the book, Make Your Bed by Admiral William McRaven. <laughs> My name is Manif Ali, and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s. I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars of sales. I started making these videos to share my life experiences and to teach others how to become more successful. If you like the type of content I'm giving you, then please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and like the video and share it with someone who might find this video useful. Start your day with a completed task. So start off by making your bed. One of the first things they teach you in the army is to make your bed, actually in all of the military services. It may sound funny, but it's not just to unfold your sheets and you're done. The military follows strict rules in making your bed. The reason why they have this rule is to encourage military people who are just starting out like privates to take the smallest of tasks seriously because even the smallest things in life also matter. If you can't even do this little thing right, you'll never be able to do the bigger things right. And I have made that bed over and over again. I had to have that 45 degree angle in the fold and all of those things. And you're kind of thinking as a young person, why all this? Once you've accomplished making your bed, you're going to be encouraged to do other tasks after that. You have that sense of accomplishment already. When you complete a task, you're reinforcing that mindset of a winner and a doer. So try doing the little things first, but do them excellently. It doesn't matter how small the task is or whether it might be cleaning up or driving your kids to school. What matters is how you do them. Now I always say how you do anything is how you do everything. And if you've ever end up having a miserable day, you'll go back home and see that bed has already been made. When you see this, it makes you feel satisfied because it reminds you that you still made an accomplishment and that you are still in control of your life. I know it might sound silly, but guess what? at least getting something done is better than getting nothing done at all. If you start out with those reinforced habits, it makes the rest of your day easier. And no matter what challenges you have, you've already done something to a high standard. If you want to have a change in your life, you can't do it alone. Find someone that's going to help you paddle. What the Admiral meant by this is you'll always need reliable people if you want to achieve your own goals. He's sharing his SEAL training days when they formed teams to form boat crews and paddle for several miles. They did this every single day in those dangerous waters off of San Diego. And no matter how cold the water got, they needed to be synchronized so they could move forward to reach their collective goal. Just like in real life, you need to find the right people to help you achieve your dreams, whether it's a business or it's sports or whatever your goals are. And if you bring in the wrong people to your team, you won't get anywhere as well. So surround yourself with trustworthy friends and other colleagues to help you reach your goals. That's one of the things I always teach entrepreneurs is that you can't do it alone. Only the size of your heart matters. I want you to know that no matter what your circumstances in life are right now, whether it's a physical or emotional problem, your life successes will be determined by your heart and your passion. William shared how the smallest group of the Navy SEALs called the Munchkin Crew, a group of Navy SEALs no taller than five foot five, somehow always beat the taller groups. He remembered that the instructor would challenge the smaller individuals if they can beat the cold, roaring waves. They would try to instill fear in them, but they never backed down. They were expected to be losers among the group, so the instructors would tell them to prove them wrong. And that's what they did each and every time. Just like the Munchkin crew, you too are able to face the towering waves that might drown you. Be brave. Nothing matters but your will to succeed. Even if it seems like you are disadvantaged in life, have the courage to be resilient and face your obstacles head on and prove everyone wrong. Many times in my own businesses, I was discounted whether I was because I was a man of color or because I have a Muslim name or because I didn't you know, come from the right side of the railroad tracks or wasn't given a silver spoon, but I just kept working at it. There were people smarter than me, but it was the grind and the continued focus and a lot of people around me that got me to the place that I was. And I'm thankful for that. And I'm just using my own case as an example of a kid that really started with nothing. You must dare greatly. Slide down the obstacle first. Admiral McRaven shared a story of how one student broke the record for the slide for life obstacle. It's an obstacle course with a 30-foot tower, which you have to climb and swing underneath a 200-foot rope to reach the other side. For years, the record hasn't been broken, but one bravely strayed away 
from the usual method of swinging underneath. Instead, he went down the slide for life head first and thrusted himself forward. It was extremely dangerous, but ended up breaking the record by half. Now, I'm not saying go down something where it's gonna be dangerous for you, but in this particular case, it worked out for them. Sometimes you have to take risks that might seem crazy in everybody else's eyes, like starting a business in the middle of a recession. Don't ever settle for what's enough. Don't be afraid to take risks because it might be what you needed to help you achieve your dreams. All throughout my life, I've been able to take some risks, some worked out, and some I got injured in, but that's the way life goes. Just a quick break, there's some exciting news for you. I'm giving away a free book on money management. If you wanna sign up, use the link down below and you'll receive a free PDF of my book. We have compiled all of the best resources on money management, especially for millennials and younger who wanna become future millionaires. So make sure that you grab a copy right now. If you like this type of content, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button and let me and the algorithm know that this video was valuable to you and I'll continue to make you more content each and every week. Also, make sure you turn on that notification bell so that when we release a video, you'll be the first to know about it. Always rise to the occasion and be your very best in the darkest moments. One of my favorite stories in the book is when the Navy SEALs had a mission where they practiced underwater attacks. The SEALs had to swim well below the water's surface and hide against enemy quarters. Their only hope at the moment was that a tiny bit of light had come through above their heads. But as they approached the ship to locate the keel, the huge steel ship blocked all the ambient light, leaving them in complete darkness. But they know it's in this darkest moment that they need to focus the most and attack the keel. During the most challenging moments in life when you feel like all hope is lost, that's when you have to dig deep, remain calm, and remember everything that you have learned to finish what you started. You didn't study or train for years just to back out. And sometimes when you look back at those moments, you'll be glad you went through the darkest moments. You'll be glad that you actually achieved something, and you'll be glad that you actually accomplished something, even in the worst of moments. In summary, what I learned from this book is the importance of discipline and never giving up and having that attitude no matter how hard the situation becomes. Remember to find people that will help you push toward your goals. And when faced with adversity, stay calm and be your very best. All of these start by making your bed every time you wake up without a flaw. You don't have to sign up for the military, go years to budge training or jump out of airplanes and do all of that. Discipline can be developed on a daily basis. Being a veteran, I just wanna say that the valuable goals that I learned in the military, I still use to this day. But you don't have to go to the military. You can just read this book and get the gist of it. And if you like the video that I just made, please hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below if you've read this book. And if you want more about building habits of power, check out this video powerful billionaire habits that could change your life. Thank you for watching.